There's a story behind everything and I'm not sitting comfortable. I've analyzed the future and the chances say it's probable that this won't be a fairy tale and there won't be a happy ending. Cause I'm unpicking and unstitching every word of the distant text you're sending. Follow your heart and go with your gut, but I think it's best I don't. So I black out the signs and tell you I'm fine cause I don't wanna be on my own. I'm trying not to suffocate you, but when it comes to love I can't breathe. Try not to kill you with my passion, but you live in my edge of the red when I bleed. For as long as you live inside my chest, I wanna drown you with my affection. And every other in the past, well, they've run in the other direction. And could I really blame them? Because it's a mind I don't understand. So I question every voice that says, oh, just take me as I am. And I ask you why. I can't seem to get enough of all or nothing kind of love. I can't seem to get enough. Don't want to say I'm addicted, but I can't go a day without ya. At times I feel restricted in my chest because there's no air without ya. And maybe that's not healthy, maybe I need to take care of myself. But then I've never really been a fan of things that are good for my mental health. So I'm cutting out my heart for you. Take it. Do whatever you like with it. I'm giving you permission to break it. They tell me to keep my guard up, then that way I won't get hurt. Apparently, if you keep love further than arm's length, then it could push you in the dirt. But I know nothing then to bear my soul. I have to give it my all. I'd rather fall in love and fall apart than never fall at all. And this brazen grin means nothing and I'll just paint that on for them. But for you, I'd wipe the slate clean. I'd resurrect myself again. I'd take together all the pieces that float aimless in my space and present it to you a mosaic that tells you more than what they get from my face. So I hope you love my insides more than the way that I make you laugh because it'd be you that holds my brittle bones when the rest of the world gets art and I ask you why. I can't seem to get in. All or nothing kind of a love I can't seem to get enough I will cry, you will rage Run your mouth, my hands will shake Wouldn't have it any other way And I see art in everything you do Our love, different shades of blue With us there is no balance, we're always walking on a wire We light up the world when we're miles apart and we burn like forest fires Horrified and glorified, you're the dizziness of my freedom I'm shackled, chained and bound by you, you take me down to the Garden of Eden You're every inch forbidden fruit but the rules were there for breaking I'm tied up in blues and greens, you make it feel like paradise when I'm aching So how can I give up on you when there's parts of your body I haven't kissed? Losing you just ain't an option when simply nothing else exists And I ask you why, I can't seem to get in of all or nothing kind of love I can't seem to get enough Of all or nothing Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Um, okay, so this one has a prop. Bit more light-hearted for you. This one is about growing up as a tomboy. This one's called Woman. If I am woman, does that mean I have to dress like one? To fit the stereotype hair kept with my makeup done? I mean, I wore heels once, but that was just to please my mum. A bit of fun. Ten years old, my astroturfs and the Spurs away kit. Collecting all my match attacks if I doubled up, then I'd trade it. I wanted them lines in my eyebrows like a bad man, so I shaved it. <laughs> Sixteen years and I'm a battle caught in my own skin. I'm a square peg to a round hole and I don't quite fit in. My star was a perfect mix of emo chic and born and raised in a bin. 20 years old and my tomboy style to blokes it don't appeal. But I'm a 24 karat lesbian, so for me that shit's ideal. 
But my androgynous Star Wars tracks are deeper souls. They don't understand it, but they know it's real. I'm 28 now and my wardrobe is finally taken shape. I say the word wardrobe loosely. It's a broken clothes rack held together by tape. My mates invite me to the pub and I wear my jeans and shirt. Important family wedding. I wear my jeans and shirt. I don't always wear my jeans and shirt. That's not quite what it seems. If I really want to spice things up, I wear my shirt and jeans. But for one night and one night only, especially for you, I dare to dress exactly how society wants me to. So, ladies and gents, sit back, relax, enjoy the view. <laughs> Lock up your sons and daughters, please, and form an orderly queue. So, if I am woman, does that mean I have to dress like one? To fit the stereotype hair kept with my makeup done? Look at me. I think it's fucking best I don't. Thank you. This is the awkward bit where I have to take it off and you're just gonna wolf whistle, boost my confidence. <laughs> yeah. Some call it empowering, some call it stupidity, who knows? <laughs> okay, oh, it is. So I've I've taken part in Miss Yankee's Poetry Prescribed events as well that have been a fantastic outlet for me. Um I've I've grown up for my entire life um, with, with m multiple mental health issues, and um, it wasn't. And, and my mum was constantly taking me to the doctors, saying, "You know, I'm concerned," and was always throwing back, "I think it's hormones. I think it's this. I think it's that." And it was only that a couple of years ago that I went, exactly two years ago actually, that I went, and I was told that actually I've lived with most of my life for ADHD, and I just never knew it except I did always know, and no one bothered to listen. Um, writing and music has always been a beautiful outlet for me and for me to be able to express myself. Um, and that all changed when I went to a, a therapy appointment where the therapist said to me, okay, I want you to describe what it's like in your head for me. And in that moment, everything went blank and I, could, I couldn't think of anything to say. And knowing me, I probably got distracted. Um, but I came home and I thought about all of those things and I wrote it down and it became this poem which actually has become a, a really important part of my life. Thank you for having me down today. This, this piece is called Volume Control. <laughs> Imagine, if you will, volume control. You know the twisty knob on a stereo or a car radio? Now imagine it's at 100 that it keeps spinning round and no matter how much you want it to, it won't turn down. Now imagine that cacophony in the caverns of my head because it's only getting louder when I try and go to bed. This every wire of my brain being caught on a sound. It's the lights, it's the chaos of a merry-go-round. Because I'm tuned in to higher things, distracted by higher things. I grow wings, my soul sings, distracted by higher things. It's the adrenaline of waiting for a beat to drop. It makes me sick to my stomach, but I don't want it to stop. Adderall and Ritalin, Metadate and Follicin, Citralopam, Diazepam, Prozac and Quetiapin. I'm thankful for the relief, though it's brief, but then I miss me. I miss the me I used to be. I ain't broke, so don't fix me. 28 years it took for them to give me a label. Took 28 years for them to call me unstable. But just because you want to give something a name, essentially it's irrelevant. I'm exactly the same. As I was before your pills and all the heartbreak and the pain, before every single memory made a home in my brain, underneath all this bedlam is a heart of gold. So is it my fault my brain don't want to do what it's told? Imitation is flattery, and flattery is good. People want me to bite back and hell, maybe I should. You want to tear me apart for everything that I am, but then you're clicking on my videos, and so mate, you're a fan. I wasn't brave enough before to do it on my Jack Jones. I wasn't brave enough before to sit in my glass house throwing big stones. But the pain and the hunger's deep rooted, growing with flowers in my chest bones. I'm growing flowers in my chest bones. And I want to change the world and I'm mad enough to think I could. I lost my mind a thousand times, screwed up enough to know I would. So should I shut my mouth? Don't ever think I fucking should. My words, they give me purpose like being loved or motherhood. 
And I could blame it on anxiety and I could blame it on my ADD, but my hyper-focus and creativity, you can't take that away from me. And I could blame it on society, but I know my brain is down to me. My hyper-focus and creativity will take me places that you'll never reach and you can't take that away from me. Thanks, Mind Over Matter. Check me out online, MEP. Thank you very much.